the time out and come to the Sunday visit program that Prabhupada had started a long time ago. And in the Stovako temple, it's been going on for last uh, 32 years, maybe 33? 42. 42. 42 years. Wow. That's a long time. Every Sunday, I believe this. Cooking and prasadam. Okay, so tonight we'll start with. Uh, well, let's let's say thank. I would like to thank for uh, giving me opportunity to, to say something about Lord Nityananda. Thank the management and especially Nilmani Prabhu, the president. Uh, was uh, put my glasses on. Okay, so this endeavor that I am performing right now, uh, like uh, the Prashya, that was a hard time uh, preparing for the class. It's very purifying. <laughs> and uh, I thank you. Uh, so uh, I will repeat those words from Bhagavad Gita and Srimad Bhagavatam, as I heard from senior devotees of ISKCON movement. So please bless me so I can glorify the Lord. Please accept my humble obeisances. And I, I like especially a uh, blessing from Shivaraja Prabhu, the disciple Prabhupada, and all the humble devotees. Thank you very much. We will start with uh, Jai Radha Madhav, right? Yes. Kartal, please. Jai Radha Madhav Kunja Bihari Jai Radha Madhav Kunja Bihari Kunja Bihari Gopi Jada Vallabha Giri Vardhari Gopi Jana Vallabha Gopi Jana Vallabha Giri Vardhari Yashoda Nandana Vrajajana Ranjana Jamuna Tita Vanshari Jamuna Tita Jai Radha Madhava Kunja Bihari Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna. Nittai Gaura Hari Bol Hari Bol Hari Bol Nittai Gaura Hari Bol Nittai 
Things are entangled here. Okay. Yeah, it's been a long time since uh, I gave a last lecture. I don't know, about four or five months maybe. Actually, I was lazy, you know, and uh, didn't want to prepare. But then I heard Mohan Krishna Prabhu. And I said, I have to give you class. So I, I told uh, Neil Manipur right away, next week I'm going class. <laughs> yeah. And then I said to myself, well, what did I do? <laughs> you all know it's so hard to prepare class, you know. But I had to do it. To sit on this chair, you know. So. Anyway, please bless me so uh, I can glorify Lord Nityananda Prabhu. He is none other than Balram. And here we have Lakshmanji also. So he's also Balram, right? In his uh, previous pastime. So we offer obeisances to Sita Ram, Lakshman Hanuman, Gaunitai, Srinaji Bhagwan, Lakshmana Shingadev. Yes. So please bear with me. I have uh, prepared uh, so many pages are here. Oh, first we have to chant some slokas. That way I can spend my time. <laughs> you all know that, right? Okay, Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya. Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya. Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya. Oh, I forgot one more thing to say. Uh, when I was chanting Jai Radha Madhav, I, I came across Kunja Bihari. That's the name of my uh, granddaughter. Namras and Tulsi have a daughter now. So this is my fourth uh, grandchildren. Yeah. So please bless them. You know, this. Thank you. Radha Madhav. I don't believe it. Kunja Bihari. We call him Kunji. <laughs> Call her. Okay, so we will go straight to uh, Bhagavad Gita, chapter 4, se seventh verse. Anybody? 4, 7, what is it? Yes. Yada yada hi dharmasya glanir bhavati bharata abhyutthanam dharmasya tadatma sujam yaham. Yada yada hi dharmasya glanir bhavati bharata Abhyutthanam dharmasya tadatmanam sujam yaham yada yada hi dharmasya glanir bhavati bharata abhyutthanam dharmasya tadatmanam sujam yaham Anybody wants to try? There is? Whenever and wherever there is a decline in religious practice or descent of Bharat and a predominant rise of irreligion, at that time I descend myself. Purport. We are not going to read the whole purport, but let's see. Okay. The word Sujami is significant herein. Sujami cannot be used in the sense of creation because according to the previous verse, there is a no creation of the Lord's form or body, since all of the form are eternally existent. Therefore, Sujami means that the Lord manifests himself as he is. Although the Lord appears on schedule, namely at the end of the Dwapar Yug of the 20th millennium of the seventh Manu in one day of Brahma, he, does, he has no obligation to adhere 
to such rules and regulations because he is completely free to act in many ways at his will. He therefore appears by his own will whenever there is a predominance of irreligiosity and a disappearance of true religion. Principles of religion are laid down in the Vedas and any discrepancy in the matter of properly executing the rules of the Veda makes one irreligious. In Bhagavatam it is stated that such principles are the law of the Lord. Only the Lord can manufacture a system of religion. The, Veda, the Vedas are so also accepted as originally spoken by the Lord himself to Brahma from within his heart. Therefore, the principle of dharma or religion are the direct order of the Supreme Person of Godhead. Dharma tu shakshat bhagavat, bhagavat prani, pranitam. These principles are clearly indicated throughout the Bhagavad Gita. Okay, so we're going to skip a little bit here and we'll go to the next verse because th these two verses are together. Paritranaya sadhunam vinashaya cha duskritam dharma sansapanarthaya sambhavami yuge yuge. To deliver the pious and to annihilate the miscreants as well as to reestablish the principle of religion, I myself appear millennium after millennium. According to Bhagavad Gita, a sadhu holy man is a man in Krishna consciousness. Okay, so I'm going to go right at the end of the report. In the Chaitanya Charita Amrita, Krishna Das Kaviraj, the following verses. The translation is, the avatar or incarnation of Godhead descends from the kingdom of God for material manifestation. And the particular form of the personality of Godhead who so descended, descends is called an incarnation of or avatar. Such incarnations are situated in the spiritual world, the kingdom of God. When they descend to the material creation, they assume the name avatar. Everybody got that? So that's what avatar means. They just descend from the spiritual world. There are various kinds of avatars such as Purusha avatar, Guna avatar, Lila avatar, Saktiyavesh avatar, Manvartar avatar and Yuga avatar. These are all technical things, all appearing on schedule all over the universe. But Lord Krishna is the primeval Lord, the fountainhead of all avatars. Lord Sri Krishna descends for the specific purpose of mitigating the anxiety of the pure devotees who are very anxious to see his, him in his original Vrindavan pastime. Therefore, the prime purpose of the Krishna avatar is to satisfy the unalloyed devotees. And the last paragraph is also very important. The Lord says that he incarnates himself in every millennium. This indicates that he incarnates also in age of Kali. That's the current age, age of Kali. Chaitanya Mahaprabhu who spread the worship of Krishna by the Sankirtan movement Congregation chanting of the holy names and spread Krishna consciousness throughout India. He predicted that this culture of Sankirtan would be broadcast all over the world. From town to town and village to village, Lord Chaitanya, as the incarnation of Krishna, the person of Godhead, is described secretly but not directly in the confidential part of the revealed scriptures, such as Upanishad and Mahabharata Bhagavatam. The devotees of the Lord. The devotees of the Lord Krishna are very much attracted by the Sankirtan movement of Lord Chaitanya. This avatar of the Lord does not kill the miscreants but delivers them by his causeless mercy. I like that last sentence, does not kill anybody but delivers them by his causeless mercy. Okay, O Magnana Timirandasya, Gnananjana Shalakaya. Chakshura Malikam Yena, Dasmai Shri Guru Yena Maha, Mukam Karuti Vachalam, Pangum Langai Tegrim, Yat Krupata Maham Vande, Paramananda Madhun, Shri Chaitanya Shwaram, Shri Guru Dintarinam, Vanchakal Patarubhyasya, Krupa Sindhu Bhye Evacha, Patitanam Pavanebhya, Vaishnavebhya Namo Namaha.
जय श्री कृष्ण चैतन्य प्रभु नित्यानंद श्री अद्वैत गदाधार शिवा शि गौर भक्तवृंद हरे कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे हरे सो एज आई से द रीजन आई सिलेक्टेड दिस टू वर्ड्स इज आर दैट बिकॉज कृष्णा डिसेंड्स हिमसेल्फ इन एवरी मिलेनियम मिलेनियम आफ्टर मिलेनियम एंड हिज मेन पर्पज टू कम हियर इज परित्राणाय साधुनाम एंड विनाशाय दुष्क्रम एक्चुअली परित्राणाय साधुनाम दैट मीन्स ही कम्स हियर टू गिव प्लेजर टू हिज डिवोटिस ही कैन डू एनीथिंग एनी टाइम वॉट ही वॉन्ट्स बट टू गिव लव टू आई मीन टू गिव ऑडियंस टू हिज डिवोटिस इज that's that's the main reason he comes so in first verse there is uh, three things there glanir bhavati abhyutthana madharmasya that's why he comes meaning whenever and where there is a decline in religious practice predominant rise in religion uh yes or two things and then the third thing uh, second uh, shloka he said three things paritrana sadhana vinashaya tusha and reestablish the principle of religion now all these three or th- all these uh, two things are here in kali yuga anyway so uh, we are expecting uh, krishna any time right no he he already appeared in 500 years ago as chaitanya mahaprabhu he is krishna himself came uh, in the guise of devotee to teach us how to worship or how to worship krishna and he inaugurated uh, the sankirtan movement in all over india but then uh, it says all over the world so india is india no not all over the world so what happened is prabhupad took uh, his uh, guru's instruction so you go out and propagate this uh, movement in uh, a preach in english speaking country so prabhupada decided uh, i don't know how he decided but he said i'll go to america because at that uh, this time of the year, you know this this time america is a country that everybody follows so he he, he just came to america and uh, started the movement and you know the whole whole thing about it uh, he went through so much difficulty at the age of 70 years i cannot even uh, sit on the floor now my my knees are giving up and he came at the uh, age of 70 so there is a lot of shakti from krishna invested in him while coming on jaladuta he had a heart attack two heart attacks and krishna actually saved him because there there was some work work to be done by him we can say it now but uh, it's amazing how uh, he spread the whole movement in uh, all over the world and that is the reason we are here uh, all together because of his con movement establishment of his con i would be i don't know somewhere else uh, sitting somewhere in the bar and say but, but we are all here together nice so there is a potency of uh, uh, pure devotee he has been invested energy by nityananda prabhu he is none other than balram and uh, when i uh, read ch- ch- uh, prabhupada lilamruta long time ago i couldn't even put down that book at night so my wife said what are you doing you have to go to work tomorrow say yes yes i know but is that interesting so i would ask all the uh, devotees uh, refer chaitanya uh, uh, prabhupada lilamruta yes what else oh yeah right uh, there is a timing here 
at the end of dwapar yug 28th millennium and seven, in the seventh manu so as you know there are uh, how many manus in uh, one day of brahma 14 years 14 manus just one day of brahma and one day of brahma consists of 1000 yuga cycles yes so 1000 multiply by 4.32 million years so 4.32 billion years so many cannot even know so that's why i said chitanna mahaprabhu was just adventer few weeks ago or uh, just a moment ago you know because according to the uh, life of brahma which is anybody want to guess life of brahma that 100 years 311 trillion 40 billion that's out of uh, our calculation so um, in in one day brahma there are uh, 14 manus and one manu has a life span of 72 yuga cycle 71 or so yuga cycle and first manu is swayambhu manu swarochis उत्तम तामस रैवत चक्षुष एंड देन सेवंथ इज रिवर्स मनु यस ही इज अ सन ऑफ सन गॉड रिवर्स वन द सन प्लैनेट सो वन मे थिंक रिवर्स वन सन गॉड इज देर एनीबडी लिविंग ऑन सन प्लैनेट ऑफकोर्स बिकॉज दे डोंट हैव अ बॉडी लाइक अस दे हैव अ फायरी बॉडी any planet you go they are filled with living entities is called sarva gatah everywhere people are everywhere i mean uh, living entities are everywhere so seventh manu vaivaswat manu and uh, as i said 72 yug cycle and we are right now finish 27 yug cycle or we are running 20 28 at the end now end of 28th you uh uh what do you call the uh kaliyuga and dwapar yuga yes end of dwapar yuga krishna comes and he comes in a one day of brahma so krishna come came just few minutes ago if you can say that compared to all these years you know and chaitanya mahaprabhu even come only 500 years ago so we are so lucky right now so let's take advantage of their uh, influence uh because kali hasn't been influenced that much right now so we can take the advantage of uh, their mercy and stay in our life and go back home back to krishna and to serve him over there so there was one point i wanted to make uh, manus and as i said uh, he comes to uh, to reestablish the principle of religion give the pleasure to his devotees and kill the miscreants that's when okay the reason i said this uh, shlokas is that because that we i we can uh, uh, relate that uh, the krishna comes or the uh, incarnation comes every millennium after millennium so so chaitanya mahaprabhu came in in kaliyu chaitanya mahaprabhu in uh, in disguise in a devotee form now in charit chaitanya charitamrita when i read chaitanya charitamrita adi lila chapter 5 i was so overwhelmed that i wrote it down some of the uh, things that krishna das kaviraj has to say very very precise why why the uh, incarnation comes so i took some notes uh, please bear with me i i i might read something here from here uh, lord nityananda ram he is none, none other than lord balram the first expansion of lord shri krishna there is no difference between lord krishna and lord balaram the only difference is their bodily structure and prabhu says 
the only difference is in the color krishna is bluish uh, like uh, uh, like a clouds rain 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 clouds and lord balram is whitish so i would recommend everybody to refer adi lila you know the adi chapter or chaitanya charitam adi lila chapter 5 easy to remember right cc chaitanya charitam with adi and 5 so remember that and go and go home and refer this it's so nice you like it now lord krishna is the supreme person to god head and lord balram is the supreme person to god head of servitor he is always in service now it is described about this material world and the spiritual world so i'll just briefly explain beyond limit this material world is spirit in this material world is spiritual sky oh, sorry beyond this material world there is a spiritual sky in its call para paramo paramo paravyoma yes paravyoma which has many spiritual planets the supreme of of which called krishna lok krishna lok or we can we can say golok vrindavan the abode of krishna has three divisions which are known as dwarka mathura and gokula for Uh, in that abode krishna expands himself into four planet plan, planetary portion krishna that is vasudev vasudev balram and pradyuman pradyuman is the transcendental cupid kandarpa and aniruddha so krishna expands himself vasudev balram pradyuman and aniruddha they are known as original quadruple form these are all technical things but it's one one should know these things below krishna lok is spiritual sky are there are all vaikuntha loks so on shrimad bhagavatam if you see on the cover or if you don't see very uh, detail you said it's just a cover but you have to really look into that this small you know globes they are all spiritual uh, planets and on the top there is a flower petal and, and that's that's where the krishna lok is yes thousand petals so below yeah so there, there are all vaikuntha planets on each vaikuntha planet a four-handed narayan expands from the first quadruple manifestation krishna balram pradyuman again and aniruddha so narayan comes from first quadruple expansion the personality of god is known as balram in krishna lok is the original sankarshan sankarshan me sank akarshan sankarsh akarshan sankar he attracts everybody the attracting deity so we are also attracted to uh, nityananda prabhu which is balram and from this sankarshan another sankarshan called maha sankarshan who resides in one of the vaikuntha planet i hope you you are guys are with me right yes so this mahasankarshan maintains all the spiritual planets in spiritual world or spiritual sky where all living beings are eternally liberated souls here we are baddha jeev uh, uh, we are conditioned but in the spiritual world they are all liberated souls i mean you cannot go to that means you cannot go to spiritual without being purified you have to be purified purification has to be there and uh, i shouldn't uh, say right away that just by chanting hari krishna mantra you can be purified you will go back on that 
So now, outside the Vaikuntha planet is a Brahma Jyoti. There's an effusions from the body of Krishna. Transcendental rays. On the other side of the region called, it's called Brahmalo, impersonal effusions that is in is, uh, is uh, sp spiritual Karana Samudra, which ocean, Karana ocean or causal ocean. The material energy exists on the other side of that uh, Karana ocean. It, 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 it cannot touch the uh, spiritual world. That's what he says. In the causal ocean, Karana Samudra, Mahavishnu, the original Purush, Avatar, expansion from Sankarshan lies over there. By the glance of his, by the glance of this Mahavishnu on material energy, the material energy agitates and produce living entities. So this is how the creation takes place. It's not that it's not that it's just created by itself. Uh, the material energy itself does not have a power to uh, create anything. It's inert. She cannot do anything on her own. She has no independence, power to do anything. She is compared to the to make this. No, she is empowered to make this wonderful cosmic manifestation by the glance of Mahavishnu. So you can imagine a powerful glance of Mahavishnu. And it has power to uh, make material energy into motion and produce living entities. Therefore, the material energy is not the original cause of material manifestation. Like the modern, modern scientist says that everything is created by material energy. No, material energy is inert matter. It's by the glance of Mahavishnu or Krishna, everything takes place. As, as I say, rather the transcendental glance of Mahavishnu or material nature produces that cosmic manifestation. I told you this is all technical. That's why I had to write it down. And the way I am explaining you, I am explaining myself actually. This is for my own purification. Uh, uh, Srila Prabhupada overly emphasized this point and he gives a simple example of powerhouse, electricity and the powerhouse. The electricity does not produce it by itself. It produces in the powerhouse and some uh, spiritual being or let's say engineer he does things and uh, it produces electricity. It cannot produce by itself. Like the computer, it, it can sit here for as long as he wants until, un unless somebody touches it. It has to have some spiritual touch or somebody has to touch it. Otherwise, it will just stay in uh, forever. Same way, material energy just stays there. But somebody has to do something. So uh, Mahavishnu says, I'm going to glance over it. I'm not going to touch. And they will produce something. Okay. Uh, so Mahavishnu, or his another name is Karanodakshai Vishnu, again enters in every universe. Now this part, if you know this part, then uh, eventually you will be liberated. That's what it says in the purport. Yeah. Let, let's, let's concentrate on this so we can all have benefit. First Mahavishnu, Karvodakshai Vishnu, and Shirodakshai Vishnu. Right. The three Vishnus. That's called Mahapurusha. Uh, uh, Purush incarnations. So the Mahapurusha, Vishnu, is another, there's another name for him. I don't know why there to be another name. But Karnodakshai Vishnu. Again enters into the universe as Garvodakshai Vishnu. Same, same Vishnu. Into Garvodakshai Vishnu. And from Garvodakshai Vishnu, we all know, expands Kshirodakshai Vishnu. And Kshirodakshai Vishnu is the support of every living entity in the heart. Yes. So now we talk about Garvodakshai Vishnu, the middle one. 
Garbhodaksha Vishnu also has his own Vishnu planet in every universe. That our universe is the material universe. Where he lives as the support, super, where he lives as a support soul or super controller of the universe. Now, this is very interesting. From the navel of this Garbhodaksha Vishnu appears a lotus flower. You can imagine lotus flower. I, I can see only small lotus flower, big lotus flower from his navel. You can imagine the navel just like a lake, bigger than lake. This is in a very high dimension. So the lotus flower, on the top of the lotus flower, first, first living entity. Who is that? Lord Brahma. Lord Brahma. Yes. So, Lord Brahma is born from in there. And uh, in the stem of a lotus flower, you can imagine the big stem. The whole 14 planetary system is consisted. Upper 7 and lower down 7. Now talk about Sweta Dvipa. There are two kinds of well, actually, uh, I can skip all these things. Uh, but as I mentioned, please go over. Anybody remember uh, Adi, uh, CC? Adi? Five. Very nice. I was impressed. I went, you know, that's why I wrote it down. Ah, okay. So that's original Sankarshan. We're going to talk about original Sankarshan, which is uh, Balaram himself and none other than Nityananda Prabhu. We don't have too much time here. Uh, 15 minutes. Wow. Jaya Jaya Sri Chaitanya Jaya Nityananda Jaya Devita Chandra Jaya Gora Bhakta Vranda Jaya Jaya Sri Chaitanya Jaya Nityananda Jaya Dvita Chandra Jaya Gaur Bhakta Vranda Sri Nityananda Ram Ki Jaya So Nityananda Ram's pastime We are very fortunate that we are we have uh, here uh, Krishna Balaram I mean uh, Gaur Nitai same as Krishna Balaram and also Lakshmanji so, this temple has been very much blessed since the very beginning, having Krishna uh, Gornitai here. We've been worshipping. And uh, I've been fortunate also coming to this temple for a long time here. And Krishna hasn't kicked me out yet. But uh, that's a blessing. So, uh, Krishna is the supreme, as I said, Krishna is the supreme person of Godhead, Bhagavan, Swayam Bhagavan, and Balram is the supreme person of Godhead, servitor, service. Some of the devotees I see here, they always look for service. Just like uh, our uh, uh, Anand Prabhu. Uh, I, I can say all the devotees, you know, they, they look for service. Um, that's a good quality, you know. I'm I'm basically, I'm basically lazy. I don't do want to do anything. But then by by seeing the devotees do something, I do something. So it, it's a it's a effect. Uh, so now Lord Balram, who is other none other than Nityananda Prabhu, is Sir Krishna in so many ways, in any capacity. I have I wrote down a few of them. Bedding, pillow, garments, sacred thread, resting chair, residence, throne, you, you name it. He has his, his hand over there, you know, he is everywhere. Lord Balram is ever expanding in order to serve Krishna. So there are so many expansions of Lord Balram, so many. So nothing has to be uh, delayed. Always things are done. By the way, I, I prepared this lecture from uh, Gauranga Prabhu from Tropati Temple. Uh, you want to go to a uh, 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 website? Which one is that? Uh, yeah. 
yes desired fruit so amazing things and when i heard his lecture i couldn't even understand half of it so i had to go over and over again and i wrote it down things so as we say he is none other than balram and it happened only 549 years ago uh, nityananda prabhu he he advented in 1474 that rings a bell 1486 that's uh, chetan mahaprabhu right and after uh, i mean chetan uh, 1474 he was advented and then chetan mahaprabhu came 1486 about 12 years after in uh, so uh, nityananda prabhu was born, uh, advented ek chakra ek chakra that is in bengal so at that time if you see the map at that time uh, ek chakra was deserted if you see bengal everywhere is ganga river is there but that particular place was uh, deserted with no prosperity so when when nityananda prabhu advented there everything became all right you know it became prosperous ganga came there and uh, it became beautiful place that is the beginning of Lord Nityananda's influence. His father's name was Hadai Pandit, and mother Padmavati Devi Dasi, Padmavati. Both and father and mother loved him so much, so much. You, you can imagine that. That after he stayed there twelve years in uh, Ek Chakra, so he had to make a plan that how to get. get out from there you know sometimes i make plan also how to get out i just go for shopping <laughs> but this is a big plan well it's on a higher level so so what he did he invited one sanyasi i mean not he did one even sanyasi came and uh, uh, he met harai pandit and harai pandit said please come to my house please come to my place and uh, i said okay but you have to fulfill my desire he said okay i'll keep cook for you he didn't know he will ask for something but he I'll, i'll cook for you he fed him nicely and then he said look i am a sanyasi i need some assistance what assistance so many assist no no i need your son what can you do so he had to give his son and then in separation they died And here, Nitin Ram left. So this is how uh, things happens on a higher level. You know, higher, uh, they made plan and uh, plan worked out. The sh- so Nitin and the Prabhu went out on pilgrimage. And uh, how many years he did pilgrimage? Twenty years. Twenty years. That's a long time. Here I go for one month and I ready to come back. You know, twenty years pilgrimage. You can you can imagine because Lord Balaram also went for pilgrimage while he was on this planet. Uh, at the time of Kurukshetra War, remember? He said, "I'm not going to take any part here." So I guess he didn't have enough, so he just came as uh, Nityananda. More time. You know. I like to do that sometimes. If my wife won't let me. <laughs> We are all conditioned, right? Hmm. You have to think about it. That's my wife right there. Okay. So, uh, Ek Chakra. Oh, uh, that rings the bell. Ek Chakra. Anybody? Ah, there you go. There. Here, you know that already. Find out, right? Yeah, the hiding place. Yeah. For about thirteenth year, and uh, uh, Bhim had to kill that Bakasur. You know, you know the whole story, right? Yeah. yeah. I don't have to go into this story. Only ten minutes left, so I'll go on uh, more past time here. Yeah, so Bhim uh, he killed Bakasur. Let's skip that. Mm. Yeah, it's the time to move on. 
he arranged uh, for sanyasi to come but now after after they both left nobody knows what happened to the sanyasi and he just uh, went by himself and or this side chetan um, nityananda prabhu also went on his own so this is just uh, that was just a uh, um, you say cause cause to get out from uh, that uh, loving um duration father and mother hmm so here i said nityananda prabhu is adi guru original guru guru tattva and what is the role of guru they collect the disciple and uh, give them krishna but then radharani takes over and then they engage them in krishna service nice right so uh nitendra prabhu went okay here's the places that he went prayag mathura vrindavan hasinapur then south india namini sharanya ayodhya haradwar then again south india i don't know how we travel because right now we have so many places to um, so many things to take care of it. like you know you can go on train plane and uh bus and at that time there was nothing available they all they had to do is walk no wonder it took 20 years right yeah i cannot imagine myself doing that 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 journey but yes uh, he he traveled for 20 years and then he also met lord shiva parvati and then parvati cooked for him and uh, they had a confidential discussion but nobody knows and i even I, at least i don't know what they talk about okay then he traveled sri rangam kanyakumari and then went to himalayas met vedvyas then he came to pandarpur and that's where he saw vithal lord vithal and then a uh, a uh, 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 sanyasi his name is lakshmi pati tirtha he initiated him in his dream but not no he initiated him but in his dream he showed lakshmi pati tirtha that he is none other than balram he also met madhavendra puri then he went to jagannath puri so nobody actually goes to sadar but but, but uh, he he made to jagannath puri and that he was waiting for the order of chaitanya mahaprabhu and then he went to vrindavan and stayed at shrungar uh, what and then all of a sudden the time came and he came to uh, navdvip at our nandan acharya's house that's in paramas <laughs> that's that's his disciple where yeah, nandan acharya's house nandan acharya and he stayed there and here chetan mahaprabhu says nityananda is here nityan uh, nityananda prabhu nityananda is here you go find it so he sends uh, uh, whom he sends shiva stakur and haridas they went out for to find him they don't know what they're looking for but they they went anyway nine nine hours wait they couldn't find him they came back and then chetan was okay you you come with me so chetan was going right back to uh, uh, our uh, what's that nar nandana acharya nareesh's house okay nandana acharya's house and the meeting was so fabulous it described in, in the uh chaitanya bhagavat that when they saw each other it's like krishna balram met together you know and chaitanya mahaprabhu said to uh, shivas start that uh, verse from shrimad bhagavatam which one is it barhava piram natavaram that's a description of Chait- krishna and when um, he heard that um, Nitanam will be fainted. 
So now they have to wait again. You know. And then he's, he just keep on singing. So Nityananda Prabhu came into his senses and he embraced Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. What a beautiful uh, Milan hmm? that together. They all dance in jubilation. And the last part is they, ju- they deliver Jagai and Madhai. You all know that. Jagai and Madhai. Even Chitra Gupta could not keep track on that sinful activities. But when they dance in, in the group of devotees, all the sinful activities became zero, null. So he got the order from Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, said, please go door to door and preach. Please chant Hare Krishna. So at least we all do that uh, once in a year, we go door to door, books and please tell them to chant. That's the tradition now. Okay. So Prabhupada took this, this order heartily and he gave us all these things what to do. And it says, Krishna Shakti Vina Nahi Pravartan. So we do need his blessing, his Shakti in us in order to do this. Okay, uh, before I do that, um, yeah, I want to urge everybody to take this opportunity of Nityananda Prabhu's advent and uh, please chant very nicely, have an association with the devotees, read books, and uh, make your life perfect. I have one more thing, uh, which is about two, three minutes. I have a song by, um, I don't know how I did it, but did it. Oh yeah, here. Niranjan Maharaj is singing. Ready? You know what this, eh? Yes. Come on, Maharaj, come on. By the way, this one was sung here in uh, in uh, or to Rao Temple. This is a nice song by Narottam Das Thakur. I don't know. Can you hear? No. Hey. Everybody, Nadi Akojuni, Nadi Akojuni, Nitya and the Mahaja. Bashi Ache Nam Hatsu Sadawan Nadia Godru Menityananda Mahajan Shadavan Jan hai, Shadavan Jan hai. Shadavan Jan. Okay, so I'll stop here.
but thank you for listening and putting up with me and uh, as i said please take advantage of this uh, ad advent of uh, nityananda prabhu get his mercy chant nicely and perfect your life hare krishna Thank you very much, Mahesh Manipur. So let us uh, thank Mahesh Manipur.